Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on compass surveying. Let us read the question. The following four and back bearings were observed in traversing with a compass in place where local attraction was suspected. Find the corrected four bearing and back bearing of lines using included angles. The lines are given. For the lines, the four bearing and back bearings are given. Now, using the four bearings, we can draw the traverse. We know that these readings are given in whole circle bearing. We know that the whole circle bearing of a line is the horizontal angle measured clockwise from the north point of the meridian. So, all of the readings should be started from the north. In this case, in the north, we will have 0 degree because it is the starting point. In east, we will have 90 degree. In south, we will have 180 degree. In west, we will have 270 degree. And again, in the north, we will have 360 degree. So, all of the readings are taken from the north in the clockwise direction. Now let us start drawing the traverse. First let us draw the direction symbol. Let us keep this station as A. The four bearing of AB is given as 158 degree 30 minutes. We know that here we have 0 degree, here 90 and here 190. 158 comes between 90 and 190. So in between we have to make a line and then again we have to draw the direction symbol. This is the station B. The four bearing of BC is 62 degree. We know that here we have 0 degree, here 90 degree. 62 comes between 0 and 90. So we have to draw a line between them. And then we have to make the direction symbol. The four bearing of CD is 342 degree. We know that here we have 0 degree, here 90, here 190, here 270 and finally here 360. 342 comes between 270 and 360. So in between we have to make a line. And then we have to draw the direction symbol. The four bearing of DE is given as 281 degree. Here we have 270 degree and here 360. 281 comes between 270 and 360. So we have to make a line in between. And then the direction symbol. The four bearing of EA is 210 degree 30 minutes. Here we have 190 and here we have 270 degree. We know that 210 comes between 270 and 190. We have to make a line between them and join the point A. Now let us indicate the four bearings in the traverse. We know that all of the readings are taken in the clockwise direction from the north. Now let us indicate the back bearings. Back bearing is the reverse of four bearing. Back bearing of AB is BA. Back bearing of BC is CB. It is DC. It is ED. And it is AE. B to A is 339 degree. C to B is 242 degree. D to C is 163 degree. E to D is 101 degree 30 minutes. And finally AE is 30 degree. Now we can check the back bearings whether our drawing is correct. For example, let us take this angle 30 degree. Here we have 0 degree and here we have 90 degree. 30 degree comes between 0 and 90. So the drawing is correct. Let us take this angle 339 degree. 
here we have 270 and here we have 360 339 comes in between them so our drawing is correct in the similar way we can check this angle this angle and this angle all of them are correct now we are going to find the included angles the traverse is running in the anti-clockwise direction so the included angles will be the interior angles we know that the interior angles are these angles first let us find the interior angle a to find this angle we have to subtract this angle by this angle when we do that we are getting 128 degree 30 minutes now let us find the interior angle b let us split this angle into two parts right side and left side right side we have 62 degree in the left side we do not know how much we know that one circle is 360 degree to find this angle we have to subtract 339 by 360 degree so this angle is 360 minus 339 when we add the left side and right side we will get the interior angle b now let us find the interior angle c we can easily find this angle by subtracting this angle by this angle when we do that we are getting 100 degree let us find the interior angle d we can easily find this angle by subtracting this angle by this angle when we do that we are getting 180 degree finally let us find the interior angle e this angle also can be easily found by subtracting this angle by this angle when we do that we are getting 109 degree so it is very easy to find these four interior angles only in the station b it was a little difficult now let us find the sum of the observed angles for that we have to add these five angles when we add we will get this angle now let us find the theoretical sum of the angles the formula is 2n minus 4 into 90 n is the number of stations here we have 1 2 3 4 5 stations so n is 5 2 into 5 minus 4 we will get 6 6 into 90 we will get 540 degree the error is 538 degree 30 minutes minus 540 degree we will get negative 1 degree 30 minutes since the error is negative the correction should be positive we know that we have totally 5 stations to find the correction for each station we have to divide this by the number of stations which is 5 when we do that we will get positive 18 minutes now let us find the corrected interior angles for that with these angles we have to add 18 minutes when we do that we will get these angles now we can verify our answers again we have to add all of these angles we will get 540 degree we have found all of the included angles now using these angles we can find the corrected four bearings and back bearings we know that the difference between four bearing and back bearing should be 180 degree in a b c d d e and e a the difference of back bearing and four bearing will not be 180 degree only in b c the difference will be 180 degree so these two readings are correct this is four bearing of bc let us enter that this is a back bearing of bc let us enter that also we know that both of these two bearings are correct using them we can find the other corrected bearings 
using 62 degree we can go this way and find the corrected bearings or using 242 degree we can go this way and find the corrected bearings I am going to use 242 degree and go this way and find the corrected bearings now using this angle we can find bearing of CD in the station C we know the interior angle 100 degree 18 minutes to find the bearing of CD we have to add these two angles when we add we will get 342 degree 18 minutes we know that this is the four bearing of CD using that we can find the back bearing of CD which is DC the formula to find the back bearing is 4 bearing plus or minus 180 degree we have to use the positive sign when the 4 bearing is less than 180 we have to use the negative sign when the 4 bearing is more than 180 here the 4 bearing is more than 180 degree so we have to use the negative sign finally for the bearing of DC we will get 162 degree 18 minutes let us enter that now let us find the 4 bearing of DE to find this angle we have to add these two angles when we add we will get 280 degree 36 minutes let us enter that now using this 4 bearing we can find the back bearing ED it is more than 180 so we have to use the negative sign for the bearing of ED we will get 100 degree 36 minutes let us enter that now let us find the bearing of EA for that we have to add these two angles when we add we will get 209 degree 54 minutes now using this four bearing we can find the back bearing AE since it is more than 180 degree we have to use the negative sign for the bearing of AE we will get 29 degree 54 minutes now let us find the four bearing of AB for that we have to add these two angles when we add we will get 158 degree 42 minutes now using this four bearing we can find this back bearing since this angle is less than 180 degree we have to use the positive sign Finally, for the bearing of BA, we will get 338 degree 42 minutes. Now, using these two angles, we can find the four bearing of BC. To get this angle, we have to subtract this angle by this angle. We know that one circle is 360 degree. 360 degree minus this angle, 338 degree 42 minutes we will get this angle so this angle minus this angle we will get bearing of BC which is 62 degree we already know it is 62 degree so this calculation can be made as a check since we have got the correct value our calculations are correct here I have entered all of the corrected bearings now for all of the lines the difference between fore bearing and back bearing will be 180 degree now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video